been hitting the gym regularly and you're still not liking what you're saying, you might be getting sidetracked, says 2 News Fitness expert Wes Cole. He's with us this morning to go over some common mistakes that people make. Yeah, this is, these are some, some of the most common things I see that can really sidetrack people. We're going to go over them so you can avoid them. Okay, trying to accomplish too many goals at once. You know, there's a saying in the gym, if you go in and you try to accomplish everything all at once, you end up leaving accomplishing nothing. Mm -hmm. There are so many people, and I get clients all the time, they want to get lean, they want to get you know, buff, they want to lose weight, they want to gain endurance, they want to get ready for the Tulsa run, they want to enter a weightlifting competition all at once. It's, and all in one week. Yeah, well, you sure, time. yeah, about three or four <laughs> weeks. It's not going to happen. Your best bet is to focus on one thing. For example, if you want to gain a lot of muscle, mm -hmm. a lot of strength, it takes extra calories to, to gain muscle. Mm -hmm. um, and it also, if you want to lose weight and get lean, it, it takes, it, it takes a, a, de a calorie deficit. So you can see how sometimes health goals, mm -hmm. they, they, don't, they don't match. So that makes a lot of sense. It, you know, I haven't it, thought about that. Exactly. So the thing about it is, is you, you have a, your best bet is you, know, you don't have to, to just focus on one thing, but you really want to um, push one, one, one aspect a little bit harder than the other. Okay. And that way, you, know, you can accomplish one goal and you can kind of move on to the other. But if you go in the gym and try to accomplish everything, you're just going to end up getting frustrated. Sounds great. Also, kind of know what you can handle. You you know, that, this is one thing that I think is real important um, when you're trying to get in shape. You, you have to know yourself. You know, a lot of people, um, they, they really can't push themselves at home. They can't, they don't have, they don't have the, uh, enough motivation to push themselves at the proper intensity to see results. But, you know, they keep spending exercise equipment that ends up being fancy coat, coat rack. The thing about it is, is you need to really kind of understand yourself. And I think that's really, really important. And um, I think sometimes you have to kind of realize that, well, maybe I'm not good at pushing myself. So instead of buying another, you mm -hmm. know, fancy piece of exercise equipment, I'm going to sign up for that boot camp class yeah. or something, you know, to where I put, put myself in a position where someone's making me do it. My notes say no progress denial. What does that mean? And the thing about it is, is and that's another thing that I see, you know, it's real hot right now. People say, throw out the weight scale. You know, don't, don't measure your body fat. It just can be frustrating. My philosophy is this, you know, dieting and exercise, it's hard. If you have a goal, you know, don't hide. You need to, you need to find some way to track your progress. Don't become obsessive about it. Mm -hmm. But you need to, you know, you need to at least weigh yourself once or twice. Because the fact is, if, you know, when it comes to weight loss, you're either losing weight or you're not. Mm -hmm. and when you're getting stronger, you, are you getting in shape or are you not? So the fact is, if, if, you're, if, if you don't have a progress, a way to track your progress, you could be just wasting your time. So yeah. you need to find a way to do that. We have a question from a viewer named Ben. It says, squatting hurts my knees. Is there something else I can do that will give me the same result? Most people that when they squat and they say that hurt their knees, you're usually doing it incorrectly. This is a great way. Beth, come on out here and demonstrate a chair squat for me. This right here is a great way to do a, uh, to do a squat without hurting your knees, and it's very practical. What Beth is doing right here, when she actually sits down, she's de-emphasizing her quadriceps. So she's actually mm -hmm. taking the weight off, just like she's sitting down in a chair and coming back up. This is what they call a chair squat. It looks real simple, but for a lot of people that have knee problems, it might be a problem. Build up to where you can do three or four sets of 20 or 30 reps, mm -hmm. and you can even get to the point where you're adding a little bit of weight. Thank you, Beth. Remember, when people say, I can't squat, what they're basically saying is they're saying, I can't do a normal daily function. Mm -hmm. So you need to, when people say, well, squatting is, you know, I, I really can't do that. That's like saying you can't walk, you know, because you've got to be able to get up from the couch. This is a very practical thing that will help you in your daily life. And you can do that anywhere. You can do it anywhere. Thank you so much, as always. You're and welcome. if you have a question for Wes, here's the number, 918-749-0960. Cole's Martial Arts is at 6529 East 46th Street, just east of Sheridan on 46th. If you'd like to pay him a visit.